Hey everybody, Charlie Waymire here from Ultimate Studio Zinc in the Recording Ninja Workshops. I want to talk a little bit about overhead mics today and their proximity to the drum kit and how we can emphasize or de-emphasize certain parts of the kit to build our drum sound. Now I have an Audio-Technica AT4050 large diaphragm condenser set to cardioid about 35 inches above the kit, or above the snare drum. This is going to capture a really nice snare sound because we're pretty much right over the snare. It's also going to capture fantastic tom sounds. But it will de-emphasize the metal, the cymbals a little bit. So you'll get this great snare, you'll get these great toms, you'll hear the cymbals perfectly well, but they won't be as loud as the snare of the toms, which can be a great balance. Now as this mic starts to raise up, we're actually going to do 35 inches and 55 inches just to show you the difference. As we start to get a little bit higher, will de-emphasize the drums a little bit. They don't go away, but the snare will start to soften up. We'll lose a little of the transient. The same thing with the tom, so maybe a touch of attack is going to go away. But as it gets up here, we're also going to get a more general picture of the drums. So the cymbals will start to come up and kind of match where your toms and your snare are. So you get it lower, we're going to emphasize the drums, the attack from the snare and the toms but it will de-emphasize cymbals a little bit. As it raises up, we get a more even picture of the drum set. Those elements start to even out. Now, as this mic gets higher, we're also going to introduce more room sound. And that may or may not be a good thing. It's going to depend on your music and what you're trying to record. If you're doing a minimal miking setup, that may be a great thing because you get a little room ambience along with your overhead sound, whether it's a mono or stereo pair. If you're doing a big multi-mic session with room mics and everything, you may not want your, your overheads to be overly roomy and you may want to try to keep them down. I encourage you to experiment a little bit with that on the next session you have because the drummer, the way a drummer plays will also dictate a little bit of, uh, of how high the, the overhead can be. So let's see how this sounds. I'm going to bring out my trusty assistant, Hal. He's going to do a little drum plan. I'm going to go in the control room and get things ready. Here we go. So besides choosing the right mics for your music, also think about their proximity to the drum set so you can dial in just the sound you need for the songs you're recording. I also want to encourage you to spend some time experimenting with the different mics that you use for overheads so you can see how they react at different heights above the drum set. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and sign up for the mailing list. Charlie Waymire here signing off from Ultimate Studios, Inc. See you in the studio.